Kings, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking in Conversation. Today we're doing brunch with Jennifer Leah of DMB Does. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have a fabulous cast with me today, filled with very phenomenal women. Sexy too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I picture took a thousand words. You know. <laughs> ladies, would you like to introduce yourselves? Sure. <laughs> okay, I'm Cheryl. Cheryl, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Lenora. Hi, Lenora. <laughs> Hi, I'm Enette. Enette, how are you? I'm Misty. Misty, what's up? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Angelique. Angelique, how are you? I'm Latoya. Latoya, what's good, girl? Not much. <laughs> I'm Fiona. I met you before. Yes. <laughs> I'm Yasmin. Hi, Yasmin. I'm Jennifer. Jennifer, how goes it? Good. I'm just good. a little hot, but I'm good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hot in a good way. <laughs> okay, so today we have a fabulous menu because we're doing brunch, so it's a little bit different. So we're going to have shrimp and grits. Nolan style. Yeah. Now, you, you good with Nolan style? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That means spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can provide some spice for you. I also have some lamb and eggs too. Mm. And we're doing eggs two ways: omelets, omelet veggies, and scramble. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And then on top of that. What? Okay. Rubbing his hands together? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Got to start shimmying in a second. They're picking on me. They're picking on me. Chicken and waffles. Oh, yeah. So for the chicken part, you have a chicken two ways. Chicken tenders and then buttermilk fried chicken wings. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, while we get started, what is our topic for today, Latoya? So, we have a series of questions. It's just going to be a girls' chat. So, some things that include what do we like about being black women? What are some fun things to do in the DMV? And of course, we're going to talk about dating and relationships. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That sounds saucy. <laughs> it can be. It can be. <laughs> so let's get started. Fantastic. So I guess we can start with whoever wants to answer first. But what makes you happy? Truly happy. Whoever wants to go. I think I'm most happy when I'm able to be creative. Like when my mind is very much stimulated and I'm buried in a piece of work or a project that just immerses my whole creative juices and gets my brain going and makes me tired at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm happy with what I've done that day. Come on, Drew. Excellent. Who wants to go next? Um, well, me. What makes me happy is when I sleep late. I don't got to get up early. It it feels good to relax. Mm -hmm. It feels good to have a good night rest. That is so important in our life. And we just rip and run so much. I'm like, okay, the floor can wait. (laughs) The bathroom bathroom can wait. I'll just get to it. I get to it. But it feels good sleeping in late, which is normally on the weekend. Mm -hmm. I would say I'm most happiest when I'm traveling. I just like to get away and decompress. I'll go. Um, I'm most happy when I don't have anything planned. Like I can just kind of relax and kind of let the day, you know, happen as it happens. Um, everything's so hectic, you know, my day and my day and most of our lives. So just to be able to relax and do whatever you want to do mm-hmm. makes me really happy. Yeah. Excellent. Um, well, me. What makes me happy is when I sleep late. I don't gotta get up early. <laughs> it, it feels good to relax. Mm-hmm. It feels good to have a good night rest. That is so important in our life. And we just rip and run so much. I'm like, okay, the floor can wait. <laughs> the bathroom bathroom can wait. I'll just get to it. I get to it. But it feels good sleeping in late, which is normally on the weekends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would say I'm most happiest when I'm traveling. I just like to get away and decompress a couple times a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I'm sleeping my answer too. Mm -hmm. I love to travel and like lay out on the beach mm -hmm. yes. under a sun. Let it go and detach. Yes. yes. With yes. a good yes. book. Beach day. Mm -hmm. yeah. I always got to build one of those in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Now, just solo or just, or just with, with vacation? Either or. Either, either or. or. Either or. <laughs> 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 I like that for the vacation. But I can do solo too. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can Absolutely. Do okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for me. Oh, yeah. That is a good one. That was oh, the activity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I'm asking for the brothers. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I speak for all of us. All of the so ladies. We, we'll do a vacation. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think for me it's service, like just making a difference, giving back to the community, feeling like I made a, a difference. That's almost like mm -hmm. made an impact. I was gonna say on the other side, I like uh, when I get facials or massages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone that you just feel pampered, someone's mm -hmm. taking care of you. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, making me feel that's yes. my happiness. Yeah. I think for me, I, I'm gonna say I like traveling. I love to meet people different cultures, just learn about, you know, different places around the world. There's so, so much to learn from so many different relationships and people. Yes. I would say a couple things. One, see, like being around women and connecting and talking and talking about our joys and our successes and our, then our, our trials and stuff like that too. Like y'all too, uh, traveling is very important to me. Um, just being around my family, I have no family in this area, so just when I get to see my family, you know, I have my DMV that's family and other family, but just being around people that I love and care about and breathe life into me and I can breathe life into them as well is very important to me. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. So what about you? Are we going to ask, are you going to join us as well? I'm outnumbered right now. <laughs> so, you know, if there's any sympathy at home. <laughs> This is a kind group. Very, this is a very kind group. Last time I heard that boy, somebody got strangled. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute now. And it was a dude. <laughs> well, he's probably acting up. It depends. <laughs> How many find her acting up? Oh, yeah. 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 Now see, I don't like Nick's face, so we gonna move on. <laughs> I ain't want you to answer anymore. Like, I ain't want you to answer. But before you move on, I need to tell our audience what I'm doing right now. Yes. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen at home, in foodie land, I have, some me put the shrimp in, but before I put the shrimp in, I also put some minced garlic, as well as um, some butter. Now, the butter I'm using is the unsalted butter. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that because I want to be a little bit healthy. We put a lot of things in our body anyway that's not healthy. Mm -hmm. And if I put unsalted butter, that's a little less salt in your body of what you, you're, you're taking in, okay? Oh, great. So, Good choice. So I'm trying to make today's okay. meal a little bit healthy. All right. Now, also in this pot here, I have the grits. Now, it's not the quick grits that's done in five minutes. This is the grits that takes about 15, 20 minutes to do. Right. So, I'm a, I'm a country boy. Okay. Right. So by me being a country boy, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. You know, if it takes 20 minutes for the water to boil, it's going to take 20 minutes for the water to boil. Okay. But if that grit takes 20 minutes, it's going to take 20 minutes for that grit. Okay. okay. <laughs> because we're going to do this the flavorful way, the old fashioned way, the Nolens way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Like, what are no other freshmen today? That part. But how did they get your number? It's the same number. Like, it's the oh, number your to the room. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now, now, remember, okay. we were in college like 20 years ago. Gotcha, right. Yeah. Like, cell phones were not a thing. Got gotcha. you. So people call in the room. Yes. Oh. Like, literally, mm -hmm. all night. As soon as you get there, the phone starts ringing. It does not stop. Yeah. Wow. You have to take it off the hook. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Did you go to the Rattlers then, like, the first week? Like, your first week of fam? I think I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. They always have like fun stuff for freshmen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. It yeah. is. Yeah. Don't answer the phone. Don't it's answer. too late. <laughs> 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 Those are the girls out there. Don't answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> danger, danger. <laughs> so I think I'm like the majority of you. I'm still waiting on my best day. But my worst day, there's actually a tie for the top spot. 
So I'm gonna share both of them because I'm the best kid. <laughs> so the first one was this date I went out with on this guy and I met him online. And it was really weird because he had this dichotomy of, oh, I'm a Christian, I know the church, I do all this, I do all that. However, in the next breath, he's always talking about, like, sex mm -hmm. and, like, wanting to come in my house. So I was like, sir, I just met you. Absolutely not. <laughs> so when we finally went out, I was driving back to D.C. from Philly, and he was in Boston. So that also should have been a red flag. So that's not because we're there. <laughs> but anyway, it's <laughs> Drink water, and I'm like, 
okay that we were going out to dinner, you know, I didn't eat the entire day. And he was like, well, we, you can get some water. You can get some water? Some water. <laughs> And I'm like, do you have somewhere to be? And he's like, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. Um, I'm like, okay, so are we going to order dinner? And then he said, yeah, we'll, we'll ask for the menu. We get the menu. And he's like, okay. He asked the waitress for the check. I mean, the check for the one drink before I can even order the food. So he said, let's go somewhere else. I just don't like the vibe here. And I'm like, okay. And we're at the harbor. I'm like, okay. He's like, let's go to MGM. And I said, something tells me I'm going to walk to my car, I'm going to get a text, like something happened, blah, blah, blah. So I said, all right, whatever, I'll go move my car, I'll go all the way over to MGM, and I'll meet you there, and we'll go to one of the restaurants there and get a text. <gasps> something happened to my car, I think it's a transmission. You just bought the car two months ago, I think it's your transmission. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what, Let's. I'm just going to go home, call it a night, whatever. Next thing you know, I get a text at four in the morning saying, hey, his name is Rome. And he said, I... Yeah. I'm about to know him. Yeah. He probably <laughs> Does he live in Virginia? He lives in Virginia. Oh, right. So he says. Oh, and so he said, I get a text from supposedly this friend. Have you heard from Rome? We can't get in touch with him. I'm like, why would you have my number? Right, right. He's like, well, we knew he was going out on a date with you. So he just... Get, that's what women do. Like, right. if I'm going out with somebody new, here's my... Yeah. And so I said, no, I haven't heard from him. This is like four in the morning. And oh. so, like, so wow. you know, I get a text from him saying, like, yeah, I hit a deer. I meant to link up with you, and I'm sorry you haven't heard from him. I hit a deer. It's like, this story is so drunk. elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> I was so hard. I thought that's all transmission. I didn't hit a deer. And the deer so, and then he said, my phone went dead. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm done. We don't need to continue this conversation any further. You have been this gum. What? I don't want to say that. I'll just say that. So, so in that case, I got a question for you. Before so we go on with that one, I got to let audience know in Foodie Land when I'm cooking. <laughs> 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 no, 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 Then you'll call it's, me it's like on a Tuesday and be like, you want to go to the... No, 
I'm doing like yeah, I'm doing yeah, fractions. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing fractions. Like I can't go. Right. And I need right. you to understand mm -hmm. that on that Tuesday, that's just not like what I can do. Mm -hmm. Right. Um so I always have that conversation. You do. Always. Yeah. So what did he say when you had the conversation? Yeah, he said he understood. You know, he's very um aloof. Yeah, but he ain't really he's understand aloof. it. He he but he still like he still hit me up later and was like, you know, I really want to spend time with you. And I'm like, you know, again, prioritize them. Right. So that's just not an option for me. But you know, we'll still be around each other. We'll be in the same circle, and it'll be cool. Like it's not, it's not this just is not what needs to happen. Right, right, right. Bad. and you're not the one. I'm not the no, one. So, like, you right. have to, like you said, we only have so much time, right? right. right. So, you have to make sure that you're spending time with people who really uh, add value to your life, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That doesn't add value to my life. No, yeah. that's, that's my thing. That's huge. If you don't add yeah. value to my life. life. No, also, right. I don't want to feel like me bringing my kids into your life is a burden to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's exactly. what it's to be my children. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. automatically yeah. like that. Exactly. You know what's funny? I was team no kids. If a man had I kids. Know. Yeah. I know. I know. I've always been. And now I'm being yeah. somebody yeah. who has three kids. I'm oh, yeah. yeah. really? like, like, so like, oh, okay. okay. I think we got to hear this. We got to hear this. Yeah. I was like, he had to have grown kids. He had to be the kids that he. He had to have no kids to grow kids. Mm -hmm. I know. I don't necessarily so have a passion to, to so have biological. So it was just, you know, I think you just, first of all, you got to be open. Like, you got to be open yeah. mind. I feel like you have, sometimes as women, we have all these lists. And I feel like. Mm -hmm. But the older you get, do you find that your list, it's more about the person? But no, yes. Yeah, but I, even, even you know, when I'm before I met Dirk, I was like, yeah. When we had, had dinner, and he told me he had three kids, and I was like. Well, that's what happened with me, but he I was grew like, on the first yeah. time, so it has grown right, on me, right. so, so I'm like more accepting of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but well, I think, I think if, if somebody treats head, you good and they're good people, then you, you'll, you'll be open to more things. I feel well, like it's just I not... I feel like for me, you got to understand like what your non-negotiables are. Yeah. 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 Like, but yeah, I, think, and, yeah. And I think sometimes we wind up with like these gigantic lists, yeah. like he has to be this, he has to be that, he can't be this, he has to be this tall, you know what I mean? And we wind up like literally almost like... I don't want to say cheating ourselves out of mm -hmm. something that could be awesome, right. but it's right. like, right, it's like yeah, because we have these checklists, and men do it too, right. so it's, it's not a one right. thing, oh, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. Yeah. I think, like, for me, as I've gotten older, um, this is more about the quality of the person, mm -hmm. like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. like, it's like, I don't care how much you make, yeah. you can be a rich dick, like, right. I don't, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, right. but like, I, I want to, right, you know what I'm saying, you don't want that, trust me, you don't want a rich I, bitch. I don't. Right. I dated an anesthesiologist for three years, and it was like, he's up here, and everybody else, yeah. if you're not a doctor, right. is down here. Oh, my goodness. Only speak when spoken to. Yeah, right. no, that, no. It's yeah. not but worth it. That's what I'm saying. It's like, that to me is like the part that I don't like about dating. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Because people lead in, especially in this area. Yeah, yeah. People I'm like going to say that. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah. Do you feel like being in the area? Most of us are, are transplants to the area. Do you feel yeah, like yeah. your list have gone like tighter, or you feel like you're more open now that you're here? You see more things and people. I'm definitely more open. I'm more open. Okay. I mean, I, I feel open. like my list was very shallow when I was really? younger. Oh, yeah. my list was so extensive. But, 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 I mean, like but, I mean, but I mean, but I mean, shallow in the sense of the things that I wanted in a mate. Like you have to look a certain way. You have to have a five shadow. You have to. Yeah, you have to have a light. Yeah, and I was like, you know, I don't like his aesthetics now are less important. Mm -hmm. and it's more about like who is he as a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like how does he treat me? Do we have the same values? Yeah. yeah. Like those are the things that are more important than like how tall he is or how much money he makes. Yeah. And also, as we get my, older, we get very surprised by what we're attracted to. That you part. Know, you can't yeah. unlock. Yeah. 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 That part. Yeah. 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 That part. Yeah. 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 Yeah
how the person makes me feel. Mm -hmm. like, how do I feel when I'm with them? Right. Like, I don't care what you do. Right. I, don't care. Yeah. I don't care about any of that. Mm -hmm. Like, how do I feel when I'm with you? Absolutely. Like, if I feel good, I'm prioritizing you. Mm -hmm. You're prioritizing me. We're doing, we're doing things. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just what life is about. It's just like, how do I feel in the moment? Because yeah. I think we can spend so much time thinking about what we want that we never really focus on what's in front of us. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it can be in front of our faces Absolutely. like the whole time. But also, as women, we do, we do focus a lot on what it was and not what it is now. Right. Or right. what it could be. Yes. So oh, we romanticize. Yeah. I don't want to end this because I've spent five Potential. years Potential. Right. Five yeah. years from now, you'll still be here. Those five years are going to pass either way. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do better? Are you going to say the same? Mm -hmm. Are you going to let them drag you to hell? Mm -hmm. Like, what are you going to do with those five years? Or we come into a situation saying, okay, well, I'm looking for this. Like, I I want to be in a, I want a husband. Or I want a this and I want a that. And um, my approach to dating at this point is very different because I, I figured out when I'm focusing on their relationship, then everything that I'm doing is working towards that goal. Mm -hmm. But when I stop focusing on their relationship and I just focus it's on the moments way. and experiences, yeah. I have such a great time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if I don't, then I don't do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you just enjoy dating a lot more when you don't have an end game. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That is true. true. That is true. So no, when I used to go on first dates, I'm like, oh, it's going to be my husband. Like, I had these, like, Ooh, child. You were like, you were like, oh, I'm oh, here with it. Tell you kind of shit I used to be thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I was just like, no, I'm like Jen. I'm trying out my name with his like yeah, yeah. name. <laughs> 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 nice flow. I love him. Right. 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 Like in an unhealthy way. How many people have been married before? Huh? Married before. I got a husband. Okay. What's your major lesson from being married? I learned what I do not want. Yeah. How long have you married? We were married for three years together for six. Okay. I was married ten years. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm going to need a big bowl of this. I came at it from a different angle in terms of like what did I learn. I really wasn't focused on him and like what he did or didn't do. I was like, how are you showing up? You know what I mean? Because then it was just like, that's what you need to not do again. Because you can't control somebody else. All you can ever do is control you, how you react, how you function. You know, the first thing. And so, you know, I'm very honest about the fact that for the first um Half of the marriage, we were together for 12. So we married married for 12, together for 14. Wow. And so, but I'm very honest about the mm -hmm. fact for the first half of that marriage, I was a knife. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was it's not a wife. Yeah. Who were you? A, a knife. What's a knife? A knife. I got a pen. I cut them up. Oh, oh. I got a vicious tongue. Oh. And oh. so, every, like, it just was how it was. Because mm -hmm. I just, I ain't no other way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just like, this is how I am. And so I just I cut them every chance I had for like mm -hmm. the first half of marriage. Is that so, you putting a wall up? You know, it's on, to be honest, yes. Like I was very guarded, and and I can honestly say, like he, even though we spent fourteen years of our lives like together, there were definitely things that I didn't like. There were definitely ways that I didn't know him. Yeah. But I know for a fact, like he never really knew me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it was just so I was still guarded, like even. In marriage, yep. and so um, so it could have been like part of it could have been just kind of like a coping mm -hmm. mechanism or like I'm gonna hurt him for you have to hurt me. Yeah, yeah. 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 could have been to, some yeah. subconscious yeah. stuff going on. But yeah. for me, it was just like okay, you need to know how to talk to people. Like you need to learn mm -hmm. tact. You need to learn how to like um. reel it in sometimes. Like everybody don't even know what you think all the time. And, right. You know what I mean? So yeah. it was just kind of more introspective stuff. Um, for me, so I just had to learn how to love um, and not it, it not be this conditional thing that's based on what you do. Because then once you stop doing it, then I'm pissed with you again, right. and then we got problems. And so right, and so it was like learning how to love unconditionally and acceptance. And so one of the things I'm very intentional about in dating. Is like if I feel like there is anything about you that I know would get on my nerves, like over time, I'm never gonna try to change that. Like I'm just gonna be like, oh, the nice know you. Um, mm -hmm. I just don't feel like we would be a good match, and I'm not even gonna go into why because I'm not trying to change you. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I'm let you be who you are and go be somebody else because I'm not gonna try to fix you. And I think I spent so much time. Um, in that marriage trying to fix him and make him be who I wanted him to be instead of giving him the freedom to be who he was. Mm -hmm. And so I think by the time I caught that, like by the time I really caught like how I was showing up in the marriage, I think he was just like, Check out. Check out. right? Mm -hmm. Like, and so, and, and so then that's like the last six years of the marriage, it, it probably was just a lot of stuff that just never got um, that just never got fixed, or just you know, just things that happened in the first half of that marriage that really affected the last half. So. Question for you, Missy. Do you think that you know? Because I understand what you're saying. Like there are things that just like grind the gears, right? Like, right, right. But I feel like as we go through the process of healing, there are ways, not necessarily trying to change the person, but there are things that we're willing to like meet the person where they are. Absolutely. Like, so that I really wasn't willing to do before that I find that people may do for me like I'm you know I'm always late right I, I rarely get anywhere on time okay. like and <laughs> Missy too I tend to date <laughs> 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 Temptingly, you know, there's fashionably, and then there's just 
Fuck you, late. No, I'm never fuck you, late. What's respectfully late? I'm never fucking. So let's, let's talk about the levels. What, what yeah. is that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, this is respectable. If you an hour late, that's fuck you, late. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Traffic though. Traffic in the DMV though. You got and you have to communicate. You no, 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 no. First of all, if you knew you had a date and yes. you knew what time you're supposed to be there, and whatnot. Even though it's a DMV track, DMV is a whole. We all leave to go to work 30 minutes to an hour ahead of time. That's true. That's and if you're going to go to a date and it's somebody you actually like, versus somebody you like, yeah. do I actually like his ass? Or don't, <laughs> or don't want a free meal? Chef on my ass. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because, about be, that little bit. because, you know, because right. that plays into if you're going to get there on time, you're going to be fashionably late, or you're going to be there, fuck you late. What's fashionably late? I'm probably fashionably late. 30 minutes is faster than late. No, I'm not even that late. Most of them like, that oh, that's late. Yeah, they're not late. That's but they're late. The I probably have to say that for a day. I'm going to say something, though, know, as, as Jennifer, you know, pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a little challenged in that area. <laughs> that's all right. So, all right. But what I will Take say is Take this. It all depends. Like, I'm a, I'm a person that I'm still a respecter of time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So even though right. yeah, yeah, I'm challenged yeah. in that yeah. area. It's cool, like, I'm not here. The point of it is, is communication. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, so like you already right. know before you got in the car mm -hmm. that you were probably running behind. Yes. And so yes. to me, it's just a courtesy to be like, hey, like I'm gonna try to catch them as early as I can before they even left right. That's it. the house. Like, have you even left yet? Okay, good. I was trying to. Catch. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and I think for me, like it hasn't gone over as bad on dates because I'm never on. You're right. I'm never on time. Like I was just thinking about that today. Anyway, because <laughs> I, I, I got hit. But late. wait, Chef, but, you mentioned a pretty hot and tempting time. Yeah, we gotta yeah, talk, about, talk, about, we gotta talk yeah. about those levels. We, I want to know about and those who levels. That? Like, how do you know when? That like 15 minutes late? Right, what's in there? So ladies and gentlemen, before I proceed with that answer to that question, <laughs> I have the buttermilk fried chicken right here. It's already pulled right. up and whatnot, so it's already looking good. And I've already started with the waffles. See, look at that. Mm. Yes. 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 Now, these waffles have a secret ingredient or two in it, so you caught one of my ingredients. You won't close the catch, though, but don't tell nobody. I'm just saying. <laughs> See, I'm not. I'm just Okay, so I put some agave in it. Oh. Oh. I was looking at all that stuff. I was like, what is this? And Manuka. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. See, it wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I'm just, it was it's honey. honey. No, it, but it ain't, it ain't just, just, just honey. It's I it's understand. Go ahead, Chef. 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 Waffle that has medicinal oh. properties embedded within it, and the, or, or the uh, sailor level is what I'm giving you tonight. Oh. Oh. Okay. He said tonight. Oh. That's the only honey I use. <laughs> <laughs> Even tonight. That is the only honey I use. And manuka honey is great for facials too. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's great for your skin. You know, when we Does first started, we said you all asked me, "Are we on a time limit?" Yeah. So, no. So we that let me know right now. We're going into the nighttime. <laughs> And I got skin 30. <laughs> as long as we get big portions of everything. <laughs> 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 I need your little sauce so I can put some uh, chicken, chicken in. So we were oh. talking about communication. So like Cheryl was talking about, like, you know, what do you say? I need like, two, I need like three pieces. Oh my God. Oh, we're going to be eating in there, right? Yes. Oh, oh, this, is just, oh, this is just a taste. This is just a taste. 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 Remember, we only dine, we only do a tasting during the show. We actually go into a dining room. So it's like the appetizer. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. See, nobody okay. explained no, that. I'm not going to be just kidding. like, what is going on? We have three pieces of chicken. We're going to be somewhere. Pieces of chicken. 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 You said something. He stopped. He said to me. I said, he said to me. I 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 said to me. And he was married no, for 14 years. Do you have children? 10 year old. Do you want children? 16 year old. I'm at this point in life. 
if I like, I've been was to meet somebody, and, and that's we decide we don't like have kids, made, cool. Maybe it went well for you. If we decide right. we don't have kids, like, cool. Yeah. 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 It's, I'll take it either way. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I have three nieces. So. You don't have any children of your own? I have no kids. Do you want children? He's open. Or is that too personal? Okay. I'll, I'll give them people that's what I told them for. What did you say? If I meet somebody and we decide we want to have kids, cool. If we decide we don't want to have kids, it's cool. I can go either way. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm older, so I'm not in my younger years anymore. I may look a certain age, but I'm not that age. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when you have kids, and as you already know, you have to be energetic, you have to be young. You have to be able to raise your kids. You can't be 60 years old trying to have a child or trying to rear a child. It takes it takes a village, but it takes a strong parent to be able to yes. be with that child mm-hmm. and give that child the love, the nurturing, the energy, especially the energy mm-hmm. part that they need. Child. I tell people, I tell people, I have waited, like, I got all my out the way by the time I was I'm a child. seasoned person. How season? Right, he ain't that season. You, you, you like, like older I know. Than you like, there's no way he's older than me. I'm going to say brown don't crack. I don't, I don't know, know if that's okay, the same. Okay, so, so. You're not older than you. You're in your 40s, correct? Yes, but Cliff, so that, so now Cliff you're knows in. version. I've been in three tours of duty overseas. I've been in three tours. Oh, so you're saying those. that ages you more. No, it's, I'm saying that it desensitizes you and you think about life differently. You put things in perspective with. Yeah, that's good. Because I've been on three bases and three tours of duty where the base got blown to the hill. Wow. So you start thinking about what's really important in your life. Yeah. Okay. So for me, dating is a serious thing because I look at somebody from the from the jump. Yes, you all have a list. Okay. My list is a little bit shorter. Let's talk about because it. Because I learned overseas when the base is getting blown up, and I don't know if I'm going to live or die. That okay. Hmm. If I get back to the states, do I want somebody that I, that, I, that I can grow old with? Yes. Do they have to have a laundry list? No. Can I live with their faults? That's the number one thing. Mm-hmm. Can I live with their faults? Mm-hmm. If the faults aren't too bad, yes, I can live with their faults. Can we get married? Yeah. Will I make room for an I, a we, and a us? I sure would. Would I make room for the person in my house? No. Would I make room for that person in a future house? Yes. Because in my philosophy, you don't move into the person's house. You get a house together. Yes. So when you, when, you, when you get a house together, you put away your eye so you can have a us and a we. You know, you plan it all together. So from the start and the get-go, there's always an argument that pops up when somebody moves into somebody's house. And the argument is, get the fuck out of my house. Excuse my language, ladies and gentlemen. But that's the conversation that an argument that comes up. And if you go into it saying, okay, we're going to build a foundation and a house together, literally. Because mm-hmm. you're going you're gonna to have a house together. Mm-hmm. When you're going into it with that mentality, that attitude, right? That's a whole different understanding. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. now, yeah. you're not moving into each other's house. You're building a house together yeah. you're going right. to move into. So mm-hmm. you're planning for the future. And me, that's my mentality. I want to plan for the future. I don't want to plan for today. Let's plan for tomorrow where we can build something tangibly. You know, if it's with a family, if it's with kids, with just us. I don't care. You know, I can do it all. <laughs> Because I got my my priority set. Right. Mm-hmm. Ladies out here, we have a great gentleman with you. <laughs> right. Jump in the deep Matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks. <laughs> and he looks. <laughs> that part. And he looks. What's his Instagram, y'all? Kappa Man. What's his Instagram? 1999. Kappa Man 99. Oh if you're interested, you definitely need it. <laughs> my version of that is just don't get on my nerves. <laughs> And he's a cancer. And he's a cancer. Like, so you're I mean, amazing. I mean, for me, and I'm just guilty of, like, when I get into a relationship, I always try to, like, build a back door. Like, like, you go on. Got the plan. Got mm-hmm. the emergency plan. Yeah, yeah. And, like, with my current relationship, it has to be, like, completely open. And it is, like, terrifying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. I moved a thousand miles away from home. Like, nobody's here but me. Mm-hmm. It's like... It has been like he's literally had like talked me off the ledge. Like you are okay. Yeah. If you I got you. We'll catch you. Yes. It's all right. Yeah. 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 But me, be <laughs> like, listen, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mother down there and you. Like, like I have. Yeah, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, wow. I've and then, and then you, you guys like to know that really? I. I mean, I I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended. Right. And then I'm. Mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are. You can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're all mm-hmm. these things. And I said, I'm not going to defend them to you, right. but 
I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah, right. right. And, and I would never have sex with you. Mm-hmm. I would right. never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I said, I yeah. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. reason number two why I, why I don't feel safe with you. I can't right. even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. I've and then and then times, you guys know that I I mean I grew up here. So I'm offended and then I'm I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're all mm-hmm. these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah. right. And, and, I would and never feel safe mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. Right. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, I said, yeah. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't right. even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was yeah. like, Wow. I've and then and then times, you guys like know yeah. that yeah. I I mean I I grew up here. Not, so I'm offended and then I'm I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah. right. And I would I'm never feel safe home. with you. Mm-hmm. Right. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I said, I yeah. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. I've heard and then, and then times, you guys know like that, that I, I mean I I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended and right. then I'm mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah, right. right. And I would never feel home. safe mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. Right. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, said, I yeah. 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 say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. reason number two why I, why I don't feel safe with you. I can't right. even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. And then, and then times, you guys like that. know yeah. that yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I, I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended. Right. And then I'm. Mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah, right. right. And I would I'm never feel home. safe with you. Mm-hmm. Right. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, I said, yeah. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is reason number two why I, why I don't feel safe with you. I can't even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. I've and then, and then times, you guys like that. know yeah. that yeah. I, I mean, I, I grew up here. You're not, so like, I'm offended. Right. And then I'm. Mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah, right. right. And I would never feel home. safe mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. I would right. never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, said, I yeah. wouldn't yeah. say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't right. even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. I've and then and then times, you guys like that. know yeah. that yeah. I I mean I I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended right. and then I'm mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this Mm -hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Right. 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 And I would never feel safe with you. Mm -hmm. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I I said, Yeah, Yeah. say that. This is reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Conversations come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, wow. I've and then, and then times, you guys like that. know yeah. that yeah. I, I mean, I, I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended. Right. And then I, mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you? Can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not going to defend them to you. Right. But 
I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Right. right. I would never feel safe with you. Mm-hmm. Right. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, oh, you're so sensitive. You're taking it too far. I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So this is yeah. reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, wow. I've and then, and then you, you guys know right. that I, I mean, I, I grew up here. Not so like, I'm offended. Right. And then I... Mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're all mm-hmm. these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah. right. right. And I would never feel mm-hmm. safe with you. Mm-hmm. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, said, I know yeah. say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't right. even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was yeah. like, Wow. And then and then times, you, you guys like know yeah. that yeah. I I mean I I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended right. and then I'm mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you, right. but I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah. right. And I would never feel safe with you. Mm-hmm. Right. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, I know yeah. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is reason number two why I, why I don't feel safe with you. I can't even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. That conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. I've and then, and then times, you, you guys like know yeah. that yeah. I, I mean I I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended right. and then I'm mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah. right. right. And I would never feel home. safe mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, said, I know yeah. Yeah. say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't right. even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. I've and then and then times, you, you guys like that. know yeah. that yeah. I I mean I I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended right. and then I'm mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're all mm-hmm. these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah. Right. right. And I would never feel home. safe mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. Right. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, I know yeah. yeah. say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't right. even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. I've and then and then times, you guys like that. know yeah. that yeah. I I mean I yeah. I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended and right. then I'm I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah. right. And I would I'm never feel home. safe mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, said, I know yeah. say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. I've and then and then times, you guys like that. know yeah. that yeah. I I mean I I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended right. and then I'm mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. Yeah. Right. right. And I would never feel home. safe mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. I would never feel safe with you. And he's like, Oh, you're so sensitive, you're taking it too far. I, said, I know yeah. Yeah. say that. Yeah. Yeah. This is reason number two why why I don't feel safe with you. I can't right. even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that conversation's come up a few times, but I've never heard that. I was like, Wow. I've and then and then times, you guys like that. know yeah. that yeah. I yeah. I mean I I grew up here. You're not so like, I'm offended right. and then I'm mm. I have tons of people who I love who are natives of this mm-hmm. of the city. So I'm like, who are you can't define them in that way. Their wives, their aunts, their moms, they're mm-hmm. all these things. And I said, I'm not gonna defend them to you. Right. But I'm gonna tell you that I'm not interested in dating you. Wow. Right. 
right. Yeah. right. And, and I would never feel safe with you. Mm-hmm. Right. I would never feel safe with you. He's like, oh, you're so sensitive. You're taking it too far. I, I said, yeah. say that. Yeah. 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 This is reason number two why I, why I don't feel safe with you. I can't even tell you that what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then I find out you're full of shit. Right. Okay. Mm, this so, is so 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 twos. He came. We're talking. He. I asked him again. I said, hey. So. No pressure. Hey, so what's the plan? Are we still on for tomorrow? So he said, no. He said, no, you weren't on. No, no, we're not. We're not going to the concert. I'm going to sell the tickets. You know, um, I don't, I, I just don't, I just don't feel like going. I didn't get a haircut. I'm not prepared. All this crap. Okay. Now I'm the type, I'm not going to push myself on no man. So once he told me that, I was like, okay, cool. Sure. Okay, fine. He said, well, but we can still do something. Instead of us going to the concert or whatever, but yet we can still do something, maybe go out for dinner or something like that. Mm -hmm. So here come Wednesday. Right. Wednesday. Blowing my phone up all day. Up to the point 530. Yeah, I finished. I got my hair cut and everything. Do you know I ain't heard from him since? Wait, wait, wait. So what happened on Wednesday, y'all? I ain't heard from him since. No, I thought he called. So what happened on Wednesday when he called you? He was blowing your phone. He said, he said, he said, I just, I'm just leaving the barbershop. I got my, I got my, I'm finished getting my hair cut. I'm about to go get me some jeans. Cause I was like, why can't you just wear the clothes that you have in your house? <laughs> why do you have some jeans? That's foolish. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I'm like, why well, don't buy some jeans right now? Yeah, he oh, said, y'all ain't told me that two pairs. Yeah, so he said he wanted a new outfit. So he said, cause that's how I roll. I said, okay. Some new I jeans. Said, I said, well, look, tell me let me, let me know what time we're going to go. Cause it was Wednesday. He said maybe 6.37 o'clock. Okay, cool. He called me again once he finished getting his hair cut. He said, what you doing? I said, okay, I just got out of the shower. I'm getting myself together. I haven't heard from him since. What do you That's mean? Crazy. So he hasn't called me. Wow. We haven't talked. Wow. We have nothing One since question. Wednesday. Okay, Originally, did you... <laughs> Did you break up with him initially? I, yeah. I, I, yeah. No, 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 no. It was I, him. No, I feel like he was so full of shit. He had already sold the tickets. He had already sold the tickets. I would look on. 
on his. But you wouldn't have. You wouldn't. Like, I really would. Yeah, but I just happened, happened to look that day. You doing your I was like, let me see if he went to that um, concert. And he was recording the whole thing. The whole okay. Song. Can I say something? No, for real. Yeah. I'm being serious. Okay. Go ahead. Don't play. Okay. All right. So men don't do closure. And it sounds like you want some level of closure and you're only going to wind up re injuring yourself. Yeah. There, now I can lay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. So, 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 I don't want to do it. Huh? So, what I'm saying is. Don't worry about No. Yeah, because, like, you, you, like, to me, to, like, all right. So, let me just say this. It's like, I'm being dead. Oh, So, all right. It's like. You are in a way hey. in a different space, like you're trying to move forward, right? Right. So to allow yourself to even be in a situation to even hear what he is saying is like he's wasting your motherfucking time. So okay. it's like you already hey. said you ain't got time to get that time back, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like you already know what it is, and I think this is how. Th listen, I'm a very us person. women. No, 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 yeah. no. I'm dead serious when I say this. Women are professionals at breaking their own fucking hearts. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Oh. What, is what I'm that saying is, is that you is already know what it is. Let it like, why let even it put yep. yourself yep. through the that's mental and yeah. 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 the yeah. emotional yeah. charge? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. okay, we, can we cuss? Awesome. Yeah. What do you think about it? Fuck him. Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying, though? But that's the energy. It's like, I just want to hear what it's like. No, but no, you know. No, 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 Where there is a guy who I've let come in and out because I, because I wanted it to work mm -hmm. because I liked him more than I had liked anybody else that I had recently mm -hmm. dated. Mm -hmm. But after a while, I had to be like, you know what, Latoya, he's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Like, let it go. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. He penetrated your heart, babe. That's not. It's nothing wrong with that. So, because I know sometimes too, we get to this headspace. It's like, oh, I should have been so down. Uh, like, nah. Like, like you were being human. So mm -hmm. you let them in, but that's why. Like okay, you so will, why. you will connect with people yes. differently. Like, like the last situation, like with Big Sexy. You want know, to tell you about Big Sexy mm -hmm. with Indian food, right? And it was like, I love that fat nigga. But listen, <laughs> it's like, it like he's not good for me. You yes, understand what I'm saying? That's like, good. That's that's good. it's like, good. it's okay. like, it, it goes back to what Yasmin was saying about like how do you feel mm -hmm. and like that. That those interactions between us were very triggering mm. because even though he wasn't, he wasn't like a very mean person, but it's just like the way, like the tone, like the way he would say things, mm -hmm. it would just like hit, like it was mm -hmm. just like ah, uh, like it just you, you get what I'm saying, mm -hmm. yeah. and it was very triggering because I had been with someone that was very verbally abusive in the past, mm -hmm. and so at the end, like so a lot of times, like yeah, we had times where things felt good and mm -hmm. and things seem normal but then there were so many other times where it just felt like damn like why do I feel like sometimes I just felt worse like mm -hmm. leaving his presence mm -hmm. and like lower like it yeah. lowered my vibration you get what I'm saying and like what I'm trying to tell you is you you just said I don't have time like time is a commodity yeah. I can't get back so what I'm saying is you already know what it is you already saw the proof so just believe the shit and move on yeah. because yeah. nothing is going to change in that interaction mm -hmm. all you're going to do is work yourself up and like give give an emotional charge that at the end less. of the day yes. he, he could care, care less. less. Mm -hmm. Like he knows what he's doing. Like he could.